we have a lot to talk about with this hair oh my gosh a lot but i'm gonna make this video short okay so stay tuned you guys stay tuned all right ladies and gents um all right this hair was <clears throat> excuse me my modern show hair um that i've been had and it was my blonde hair that i've been doing reviews in and i just decided to cut it and color it red um with the color i'll talk about the color all I did was place the red on top of my blonde. It was very easy. Very easy process. Um, I forget what number of reds I had, but I know that the um, the brand that I use, I always use this for my coloring. I tell everybody I use Adore. Adore. Adore products is what I use. As you can see. So, and it only costs about $5 a bottle. One bottle should do you justice for me. But this, I did use two bottles because I wanted to do two different kinds of reds. Um, I will place below what the top color red is, but I cannot, for the life of me, remember what the bottom color red is. But I'll place below the num it's numbers and names that they have or whatever. So, I'll place that below. Um, the bottom is a little darker then the top I just wanted to give it that blend effect you know so yeah that's what I did um the color I really like it it came out nice I love it I didn't want to have that clown red kind of look and that's what I was very afraid of with doing the red hair because some of these girls out here with the red hair they just be looking like clowns and I was just like no I cannot I do not want to uh-uh but something told me just do red I never had red hair before so I just did it and voila it's done okay. all right the long i've had this hair in for about uh two months and a week now um yeah about two months and a week um i told you guys i cut it this was originally 26 inches yes 26 inch hair and i cut it but it's reasons behind why i cut it people say when you get long hair 26 inches save that hair do not cut it but it's my choice i do what i want to do i can always buy some more hair you know but it's a reason to why I all right it. now let me say this modern show hair company is a great company they are very nice um one of the promoters on there cassie she is wonderful i love her she helped me I out appreciate their understanding but there are some cons that I have to sh tell you about this hair. Like, I cannot hold back from the truth. So, when I first did my first review on this hair, I was loving the hair. It was everything. Gave me life. No, I did not say the webs, which was my fault. I told you that I was experiencing shedding and everything. But I blamed most of that on me because I did not seal the webs. And with every hair, you're supposed to seal the webs with I don't care what company it is. You're supposed to seal the wefts or whatever. So I failed to do that. So therefore I experienced shedding. But at the same time, this is supposed to be good hair. It shouldn't shed like a crazy, like a doll, you know. But yeah, so let's get into the pros about this hair. All right, you guys. Okay. The pros about this hair is one, the hair is easy. Very, very easy to dye to bleach and dye and color very easy steps one two three easy i love it it did not give me a hard time at all coloring or dyeing bleaching this hair whatever not a hard time very easy um another thing that i liked about this hair is everybody else loved it is i got compliments all the time on this hair and i'm proud of that it really made me feel special and i was excited to receive i received a lot of compliments i received tons of compliments on my blonde hair and even more compliments on my red hair but i, re I really like that because you know it said something she killed uh -huh, uh -huh. no i'm just kidding but um <laughs> yeah is the cons all right the cons about this hair is Honey, this hair still sheds like a dog. Still sheds like a dog. I cannot. If I ever order hair from Modern Show Hair again, 
I will definitely seal the wefts, then reseal the wefts. I will double seal the wefts because it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, another thing is the tangling. And the, at first, it did not do this, but once you wear the hair over time, even after you co wash it and everything, it still tangles and messes up. Like, it gets worse than this. Um, I will say this. I will say this because I noticed this. After I had this hair in my head, well, let's go back to the blonde. When I had the blonde, the blonde was okay. I, the blonde was, before I decided to put the red in and cut the hair, the blonde started, you know, tangling and getting a little matted up in the back and everything. So I was just like, all right, well, let me just, you know, do something different. I'll deep condition it, color it or whatever, and cut it or whatever. See if that does anything, you know. So I did that. And... When I did that, it's just like the red didn't, it, the deep conditioning didn't help anything after I deep conditioned the hair. And then when I colored it red, I feel like the color kind of dropped the hair out a little bit. But I don't know. I don't, it's hard for me to say because I wish I had took a picture of how the hair is when it's wet. Like it's not, when the hair is wet, you really have to detangle it. And with body wave hair, you should not have to detangle it like <laughs> hard like that. Like at all. At all. And I didn't understand why I was getting so much shedding and everything. But it is what it is. Um, That's basically what I have to say. I mean, the hair just sheds so much. And I just cannot deal. Like, I have hair everywhere. And I'm ready to take this hair out. I just have hair everywhere. I mean, I'm going to save the hair. Because if I want to go back to this red, I can. I'm definitely going to seal the webs on this hair. Um, but if I ever decide to put it in, I'm going to seal the webs on this hair, of course. Um, but I just don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know what's going on with the hair. I don't know. Because at first the hair was good. I was loving it, you guys know. But like I said, after time, um, before I, I co-washed it. Um, about last week sometime and after I co-washed it and I flat ironed it it was still met up and I would literally have to like rip my hands through it like just and I would have so many strands in my hair it would be a ball and I throw it away but at the time after you wrap it for a couple days you get your natural oils in and everything it begins to be more flowy and more manageable to deal with after you wrap it i'm just like why doesn't it do that when i first flat iron it like i just conditioned it, i first flat iron it why is it still giving me problems but i guess it's just all about how you maintain the hair or whatever like right now it's doing fine it's acting right because it's on camera but i'm telling you hunty when I tell you I have hair in my car, hair in my bathroom, hair in my room, I just, I cannot deal with that. I can't. And I refuse. So, like I said, I do like the company. They're very nice people. Very considerate and everything. But me personally, I know how this hair is going to be. Maybe I didn't take care of the hair the best of my ability, which I know is a lie. Because I did. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> I mean, I really did. I worked hard to maintain this hair. I deep condition it almost every week. You know, I left the conditioner in almost overnight. I did the best I could. And I just didn't understand why this hair was giving me such a hard time. I will show you. I don't, I don't really know as far as inches how long this hair is right now. I couldn't tell you that. But I will turn around and show you. How long the hair is now, being that I had um, cut it. That's how long it is now, and I'll pull it around to the front so you can see. And I'll also post some pictures and everything. I'll show you what I was going for, and I think I really kind of accomplished it, but with just with red hair. The length and everything I was going for it, this C era, um, this C era cut that I saw, whatever, and I was like, let me just remix it into a color. So that's what I did. The bottom line is, do I like the company? Yes, I love the company. 
Did I like my hair at first? I love my hair at first. But after time, I would say, if you're getting this hair, get it and wear it for a short period of time, like a month, and you will be satisfied. But if you want to have this hair in for a long time, two months plus, it's not for you. It's not for you unless you are planning to take the hair out. Because this is a sew-in. So unless you plan to take the hair out and, you know, do different styles in between and everything. Do your thing, baby. Do your thing. But I just had to cut the hair because it was just getting too matted at the ends. The ends looked terrible after a while. It needed a cut. It needed a trim anyway. So, yeah. I just, I, I basically cut the hair to try to eliminate the matting and shedding and stuff because that's where the matting was being created at, at the bottom and then it'll rise up to the root or whatever so that's about it that's all I can really tell you about the hair other than that I love the company I really would love to try new hair from the company this was their Peruvian I want to try their Brazilian and see how the Brazilian does as well um so you guys if you have any questions or anything let me know all the information on this hair will be in the description box below all the previous reviews that I did about this hair when it was blonde and everything I'll put it in the description box below so let me know what you think make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter my Instagram is Kristen.more I'll put that below my Twitter is at humbly talented so you guys I will talk to you later you have a great day